Countries across Africa, the Caribbean, and the Pacific are confronted with a growing number of disasters caused by natural hazards with increasingly severe consequences. Because of factors such as accelerating urbanization, environmental degradation, and the impacts of climate change, more people are living in areas at risk from tropical cyclones and hurricanes, flooding, earthquakes, droughts, and other natural hazards than ever before. Vulnerable communities can be suddenly uprooted by disasters, resulting in significant loss of life, destruction of critical infrastructures such as schools, hospitals, and transportation networks that are damaged or destroyed, and the reversal of years of economic development. Given the high degree of vulnerability to natural hazards across countries or member states of the Organization for African, Caribbean and Pacific States, OACPS, the European Union and the OACPS teamed up since 2011 with the World Bank Group and its Global Facility for Disaster Reduction and Recovery, GFTRR, to launch the ACPEU Natural Disaster Risk Reduction Program. Members of the OECPS have been able to increase their knowledge of the risks and hazards they face at the continental, regional, national, and local levels. This knowledge has helped countries to design innovative approaches to build preparedness to disaster shocks and to increase resilience. From its inception in 2011, activities have supported ACP countries to better protect vulnerable populations from the damaging impacts of natural hazards and to increase the likelihood of a timely and successful recovery. We have worked with ACP countries to become more resilient to climate change and disaster risks. Together, we have answered the call by partners to integrate risk management into development planning and take comprehensive action on disaster resilience. The program focused on identifying and addressing the sources of risk. It also looked at improving the effectiveness of early warning systems. And it also supported governments in planning for post-disaster recovery and long-term development. The program provided its partners with technical assistance, capacity development expertise, and advisory support to counterparts at local, regional, and national levels. It also responded to requests for over 30 post-disaster needs assessments. The program's activities have benefited over 70 countries of the OACPS with a portfolio of 149 projects. The ACP EU NDRR program has been a tremendous partnership since 2011 between the European Union, the Organization for African, Caribbean and Pacific States, the World Bank, as well as the Global Facility for Disaster Reduction and Recovery, GFDRR. Some concrete results of the program include the provision of training opportunities to over 34,000 people through over 800 training events and the development of nearly 500 analytical products. Importantly, activities under the program have leveraged over 4 billion US dollars of further investments from the World Bank and other international partners. So this partnership has indisputably helped advance the disaster risk management agenda in the African, Caribbean and Pacific countries. It's therefore key to build on these achievements and continue investing in resilience in these regions. It is crucial that this support and that the program and the capacity it has built is sustained especially now that most of these countries will be facing even larger impacts from a changing climate. The DRM has a lot of activities in this domain, the formation, the sensibilization, and also the implication of the women, especially of the young people and of the jeunesse, in the prevention of these risks. We have to ensure that as a country, we are able to have the resources that are necessary before the disaster, so that in the event of the disaster, these resources can be available to be able to respond to the disaster. The program 
has had a beneficial impact in providing its Caribbean partners with the technical assistance necessary to build resilience, from helping the Dominican Republic improve the efficiency of recovery financing in reducing poverty, to advising San Lucia on how to ensure exposure to its public infrastructure, to promoting gender-sensitive disaster resilience in Haiti. These activities reflect the priority the program has placed on building inclusive resilience and reducing the impacts disasters have on the region's socioeconomically vulnerable groups. Through the ACP European Union Natural Disaster Risk Reduction Program, the European Union has invested in these countries. It has invested in their capacities and it has strengthened the national policy and regulatory frameworks. At the same time, it has strengthened the community-based recovery and resilience. We face the same situation in our countries and uh, this type of activity is good for to allow us to share our experiences and maybe to share some ways forward on how do we can work together to address the issues of climate change and disaster risk reduction in our areas, and especially in our countries and even in our local communities. The OACPS will continue to maintain and develop partnerships such as these on issues pertaining to disaster risk management and climate change. Overall, the ACP EU NDRR program has been a driving force in helping African, Caribbean and Pacific countries strengthen their resilience to climate change and natural hazards. The program has worked alongside key stakeholders such as governments, international organizations, donors, civil society, the private sector and academia to protect sustainable development gains from the impacts of disasters. The 79 ACP countries remain amongst the most hazard-prone and vulnerable countries in the world. Disaster risks evolve and priorities shift. We know that investment in disaster risk reduction pays off. One euro invested in it saves at least four euros in humanitarian aid. So, as the world's leading donor for development aid and climate finance, the EU will continue to put resilience to disaster and climate risks front and center of our external action agenda.